on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Remember, when it's bad, it's good. And when it's good, it's epic. CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow in seconds. Boat Outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. Hey guys, I'm Captain Mike and welcome to another episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV and welcome to part two of our annual Pulley Ridge adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Let me tell you, if you're just joining us here, you absolutely have to just backtrack a little bit, make sure that you watch the first part of this show. We had an absolute ball. We're now in dawn of day three kind of losing track here. I mean, this has just been going on and on. We had an action-packed day yesterday, caught a wide variety of different species, fished a bunch of different depths, anywhere ranging from 400 feet on out to about 700, 750 foot variety of different snapper species. We had some pelagics on the troll, mixed bag with some blackfin tunas throughout the day as well. Just really non-stop action, really exciting. But like I said, here it is, dawn day three, and we have another entire day ahead of us. So we're really looking forward to this. Conditions changed a little bit overnight. The breeze picked up a little bit, a little bit choppier, certainly nothing crazy, um, but definitely different than it was yesterday. So it'll be interesting to see how this really comes together today with these different conditions. Now, we talked a lot about the boat. We talked a lot about the history of the Yankee captains and how Captain Greg Mercurio and his crew and how this boat ultimately ended up in Key West fishing full time and pushing the boundaries way out here to these uncharted waters, you know, uncharted waters. Really, really exciting stuff. Today, we're gonna talk more about the techniques involved for really being successful on these trips. You know, we've touched on the variety of techniques, may it be deep dropping or jigging, but we're gonna dig even deeper today. We're gonna look at tackle, we're gonna talk about power assist electric reels for you, you know, those of you guys that really like the deep drop. We're gonna talk more about the jigging tackle. You know, you've watched us just spend the entire time uh, jigging, and we're gonna continue to do that today as well. That's our preference. So I'll tell you what, it's gonna be an action-packed show, loaded with a lot of great information. Stick around, you're not gonna to wanna to miss a minute of this one. Hey man, I'm looking forward to an absolutely awesome day on the water here. Same, me too. Right? The anticipation, killing me. I'm telling you, I don't know what's gonna bite, but I know we're gonna try like hell. You guys ready? Ready, ready. You ready, Seth, you ready? I expect big things out of you today. You got this. You know, again, the conditions have changed here. This breeze has picked up, deep water, the current's just much faster, the boat's drifting much faster. 
So now is the time when you want to scale down that braid. Now is the time when you want to fish that thinner 20 pound. You know, some guys will even fish 16 pound. Okay, this diamond braid is incredibly strong. As long as it's not damaged, you'd be really surprised the size of the fish that you can catch on this ultra thin braid. And not that this is a big fish by any means, but the point I'm making is when, again, you're in deep water and drifting fast, scale down. Go down to that lighter line. It's gonna make a big, big difference. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technology. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Dependable terminal tackle is vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond Fishing Products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. Above deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit EasyAnchorPuller.com, call 1-800-800-1640 today. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. You're watching us aboard the legendary Yankee Caps. We're on our annual long range adventure well into the Gulf of Mexico. Part one, you saw us. We were crushing the bottom fish, a lot of variety. We didn't see a tremendous amount of quality fish trip yet, but we certainly saw plenty of quantity. And we said to you that on this part two, on this episode, the second part, we're gonna talk a lot about tackle. We're gonna talk a lot about jigging tackle, but primarily the deep drop tackle, what different guys choose to use and why. We're gonna walk around and just talk to the different fishermen that joined us here. And I'll give you my opinion. I'll be straight up with you. Through many years of experience and many trips, I'm gonna tell you that probably half the stuff that you see has no place on this boat. It really doesn't. And why guys just don't listen, I, I don't know. You know, I can't answer that for you, but certainly plenty of anglers are dialed in and they're maximizing on every opportunity. So let's take a walk around, talk to some of the guys, see what we see. Come on. Typical deep drop setup. This is the right way to do it. We talked a lot about the wrong way and the right way, right? So we've got the Tanacom 750 or the 1000 seem to be the most popular power assist deep drop reels. The Daiwa Seaborg is a great option. The Shimano Beastmaster is another option. I lean toward the Daiwa Tanacoms. Now the difference between the 750 and the 1000, which you're gonna see, which is just a little bit wider, same bearings, same gears, same drive, same everything. The only difference is the reel is larger and holds more line. Most parts, that 750 is absolutely adequate. And certainly when you're fishing these 500 to 800 foot depths, the 750 is the way to go. Matched to an eight foot conventional rod rated for 20 to 40 pound or 30 to 50 pound at the most, okay? It's a comfortable outfit. He can fish it under his arm. He's not gonna get fatigued. It's still sporty. Yes, it's an electric reel, but I'll tell you what, if you're gonna be out here all day from dawn to dusk, you know, you may want that power assist reel. Not many anglers are gonna stick with jigging. And some days they bite the meat more than they bite the metal. As far as line is concerned, 
40, 50 pound braid is a perfect fit. That 40 or 50 pound diamond braid, ultra thin, ultra sensitive, super strong, a ton of line capacity. That's the right way to do it. Another one, what do we got going on here, pal? That mic? Typical eight foot rod. You've got that Tanacom 750, yes, right? Yes, sir. And what do you got that loaded with? What uh, pound test? 50 pound braid. Per, man, I love when people uh, listen. 80 pound. Top uh, shot? Top shot, nice, yes, sir. Nice. And have you done on this trip so far? I've done pretty well. Yeah. Um, surprisingly, first trip on a Yankee cap. First one. Um, first one. And yep. you're from where? Virginia. All the way down from Virginia to Key West to fish with us. Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay. Well, I hope this isn't going to be your last trip. Oh, no, absolutely not. That's right. That's right. If you're thinking about doing it, go ahead and push the button. It's, it's well worth it. There you go. Oh, there's a big tile. There's a big tile fish. Woo! Look at that one. Wow. That's a monster blue line tile fish. There's a really, really bad to eat. I'm going to need to take that from you. You don't want that. Yes, you can have it. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, you're deep dropping. Yes, sir. How, how much lead you fish in there? Uh, Three pounds. pounds. Yep. Look at the size of that one. How do you cook that? How do you cook that fish? Fry it. Fry it. Make it. Yeah. Any way you cook it, it's delicious. Yes. Poor man's lobster. That's what they call that. That's what they call it. Yes. Yep. Poor man's lobster. Tile fish. One of the best eating fish in the sea. Captain's Kitchen. Proudly presented by Dubro Fishing, innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. Hey guys, on this episode's Captain's Kitchen, I want to talk to you about something really important. Food, right? I don't care what kind of trip you go on, vacation, adventure, food plays a vital role in how exciting the trip is and how enjoyable your time is. And that applies to long range overnight fishing like this trip aboard the Yankee Captains. It literally, the quality of the food can make or break a trip. Now the real nice feature here on Yankee Captains is you literally can hop aboard, do the meal plan, get all your food, all your beverages, three meals a day, snacks around the clock, and never have to lift a finger. And I'll tell you what, it's an incredible value. Chad, you've been the chef on here for how many years? Five years now. Five years. And I don't know how you continue to put out these five-star gourmet meals out of this tiny little galley, but you do it, okay? You literally are a magician in the kitchen. Okay? That's what we're gonna call you. <laughs> Chad, how do you do it? Tell us, tell us just how do you make this happen? Well, basically what I've been doing is just taking everything that I've learned over the years, all the restaurants that I worked in, New York City, Miami, Orlando, and just all the big chefs that I worked with, and just put my little twist on it. Like for instance, I first time I ever worked in a sushi restaurant, I thought I was going to learn by a guy that was Japanese, so I didn't. I had a Cuban guy teach me how to do this. And I'm like, where'd you get this from? I'm like, okay, well, I learned it just as you were learning it from me. So basically I threw my little twist, it was an avocado. Uh, got a little cream cheese in the middle, uh, blackfin tuna that was caught this morning and put on ice for a good six hours, nice and firm. It's on a bed of um, bean sprouts, got a little sriracha, a uh, little hoisin lime coconut sauce that I've made, and then over here I have a crab cake. Um, I actually worked with a chef in Fort Lauderdale um, back some time ago that sort of gave me the inspiration for this crab cake. He wanted to do something, he's like, all right, let's do it together. Secret ingredient, rich crackers. Awesome, awesome. Okay. But I'll tell you what, all of your meals, not only the appetizers and the dinners, breakfast, lunch, a full array of snacks throughout the entire trip, all of the different beverages. I mean, I can't stress enough what a big role this plays and how enjoyable everybody's trip is. So keep that in mind. You know, when you come aboard the Yankee Captains, don't bring a cooler of food, don't bring any beverages. This magician in the kitchen right here, he's got you covered. When you're in command of a boat with Mercury 400 horsepower Verados, you might start to feel like you're someone that fish should fear, that the water should respect, and that the world should acknowledge. Until you realize you are all those things. The Mercury 400 horsepower Verado. Power, control, and speed in a lightweight package. Fiberglass, they use it to build boats and yachts because of its strength and durability. 
and that's exactly what every frigid rigid cooler is made out of. This is my set after 12 years and I keep them outdoors with industrial grade rubber gasket and stainless steel hinges with backing plates. Not a single component has failed on any of them. Can you honestly say that about your coolers? From 35 to 300 quarts, there's a frigid rigid cooler, coffin box or freezer for every boat. Are you ready for a world-class adventure? Fishing up to 150 miles offshore and always on the hunt for untouched fisheries, the legendary 100-foot Yankee Caps is Florida's premier long-range head boat. Fish around the clock for trophy snapper, grouper, tilefish, tuna, and more. With all the comforts of home and plenty of elbow room, Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew will put you or your entire charter on a hot bite fishing the famed halfway ledge. Pulley Ridge and beyond. Rated number one in service, Yankee Cap sales from Key West year-round. Aqua Traction Marine Flooring outperforms the competition, enhancing the comfort, appearance, and fishability of any boat. Competitors use open cell foam, prone to staining. Our durable closed cell foam is 100% stain resistant and withstands the harshest marine environments. We guarantee it. Precise designs and dependable adhesive ensure your custom floor will exceed your expectations with many seasons of trouble-free use. Contact our preferred dealer for a free quote and discover the difference. That's, the, that's him right there, dude. Way up off the bottom. You know, we talked a lot about the deep drop gear and now when it comes to the jigging gear, I know we've touched on it a lot, but there's just so much to be said about it. There really is. You know, it's incredibly light, but just incredibly powerful. Look at this. You know, you watch us battle some really, really big, powerful fish on this stuff, and you just, oh, oh no, he's still there. You just have to take your time. You know, back to the conversation, reels. Let's talk about that, star drag versus lever drag. Matter of personal preference, you know, I find that the star drag I prefer the star drag. Easier to make fine tune adjustments. I find that it's easy for a lot of guys, especially novice anglers, to make a mistake with a lever drag reel, applying just a little too much heat, or maybe not enough. Star drag, just with the tip of my finger right there, I can just tighten it, loosen it. So it just works for me, but again, it's personal preference brand. Of course, the Shimano's accurate, the Dio's are the most popular when it comes to jigging reels. Line, diamond braid, end of story. I've got so many years of experience and so many thousands of fish with the diamond braid. I know I can count on this line, you know, and it's not a, a tap on the shoulder for these guys. It's just experience and there's no substitute for experience. You know, do I land every fish? Of course not. And you're not going to either. But under so many different scenarios, the line has just held up incredibly powerfully. You know, I mean, it just, and maybe that combination of words doesn't make perfect sense, but I know you're following, you're picking up what I'm growing down, right? You know, I can count on it. I know it. And it's the same with the leader, the diamond presentation fluorocarbon. We're fishing 40 pound. You may think that that's light. But it's so strong. And you watch this catch fish that are one pound and 51 pounds, all on the same outfit. Gear Guide, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. Hey guys, on this episode's Gear Guide, we're gonna talk to you about jigs, slow pitch jigs, right? You're watching us out here on the Yankee Caps. We're well over 100 miles off the beach, deep in the Gulf of Mexico. A lot of guys are deep dropping, but there's certainly a handful of the passengers, including myself, that are sticking to the jigs, that are jig fishing. And we're having an absolute ball, catching a wide variety of different fish. Uh, I mean, I can't tell you how many species we've actually targeted or, or actually caught on these jigs. Now, one of the biggest problems that you're gonna find with slow pitch jigs is the supply chain, right? This has just been blowing up over the last couple of years, and right now the demand is really at an all-time high for jigs. But the supply is really way back there, okay? And sometimes it's really hard to get your hands on the jigs that you're looking for when you need them. 
Now, fortunately, we've got the owner of Jigs R Us who really joined us for this trip. We're privileged to have him on board, doing a lot of jig fishing yourself here, of course. Yep. What separates you guys from a lot of the other companies that are out there? Well, what we've done is we decided to carry several styles from 50 grams all the way up to 500 grams and several different colors. And we have hundreds and hundreds of jigs in stocks. And as soon as you place your order, we're shipping them right out to you. There's no waiting, there's no wondering, there's not, I don't have this, I don't have that. We have hundreds of different styles. Again, in many, many gram sizes, many gram colors. We have pretty much everything for every guy who's jig fishing from inshore at 50 feet out to out here at five, 600 feet. Gotcha. And that's the key right there is getting your hands on the products when you need them. And mention Florida Sport Fishing TV and all of your jigs are gonna arrive rigged and ready to fish. Exactly. Rods, line, leader, or I should say reels, line, leader. The only other part of the equation is the rods, right? And here again, matter of preference, there's a lot of slow pitch rods out on the market. Some popular names, some custom stuff. Everybody seems to have their preference. Rods that are really parabolic, rods that are really fast, rods that are softer. Some guys like them more responsive, longer. In my particular case, we designed these set of slow pitch rods. They're six foot three, rated for 150 to 400 grams. And I've caught so many different species and so many different scenarios on these that I wouldn't dream of fishing any other rod. I just know this rod so well, so comfortable with it. All right, there it is. Look at that jig, completely clobbered up. A lot of the colors gone, it's bent a little bit on the bottom. It's been through hell and back right there. I'll tell you, pound for pound, that is one of the strongest fighting fish ah, that you're gonna hook anywhere. If exploring the ocean never gets old, if getting salty is something you crave to repeat time and again, if fun in the sun is how you make new friends and stay close to old ones, if you agree time on the water is time well spent, then we build CVs for you and those you call friends and family. For the memories you've yet to make and the friends you've yet to meet, CV Boats lead the way. Another one on the jig. That's true for Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Spool Tech, Hyperlastic, Engage, and Oceanborn Lures. Stay connected with the next generation of innovative and effective soft and hard baits for every venue. Salt Life Sunglasses, unparalleled polarized protection with anti-glare properties and special coatings to repel water and oil. Jigs are us. A massive selection of slow pitch jigs in stock and ready for delivery. Free shipping at jigsrus.com and your entire order will arrive rigged and ready to fish. Hey guys, we just landed an absolutely giant grouper. This is one of the benefits of coming on these trip is your PB, right? Your personal best. Wait till you see this fish, follow me. Congratulations, dude. Holy ass. moly. Oh my God. The Look at that. Look at that grouper right there. Hey guys, join us. Florida Sport Fishing TV, our annual adventure aboard the Yankee Caps. If you haven't done this trip before, you better book now for next year, because let me tell you something, that's a possibility. Have you ever seen a Warsaw? Have you ever seen a grouper other than a Goliath that big? I'm 6'5". Absolute <laughs> stud. Giant. Giant. Solid. Nice. <laughs> there it is right there. I can't stress enough 
how important it is to make sure that you spend every minute that you can at the rail when you come out on these long range trips because you never know when any one of your baits is going to get eaten by an absolute stud a super giant just like this fish right here we can't even i don't know what do you guys think how, how much do you think that thing weighs 200 easily 200. <laughs> we don't know about that but he's big all right you know we'll come to find out what he weighs but it's also why it's so important that after every fish you check every one of your knots check your leader if it's abraded re-rig it if a knot doesn't look right it isn't right you know make sure you fish quality hooks bmc hooks the last thing you want is a hook straightening out on a giant beast like this right here chaos rod daiwa seaborg 1200 reel loaded with 60 pound diamond braid and there it is, that's the result. What bait, Ronnie, did you catch that fish on? It and a uh, quarter slice of snapper. There you go, just a mix, a little smorgasbord. Guys, thanks for joining us on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. We can't wait to see you next year aboard the Yankee Caps. If you haven't done one of these trips with us, I'll tell you what, you better keep your eye on their website. As soon as they go live, they book, and I think everybody back here is booking for next year. You guys coming next year? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> Nice. We'll see you next week. Nice job, dude. Connect with the crew on Instagram at Florida Sport Fishing TV. Catch our extreme seminar series at www.fsftv.com and get hooked up. What, what is this thing? I'm not even sure what that is. A Z-wing? No, that's like, anybody know what that is? Can you, can you provide proper ID? We got the little flare hawk. Hey, you never know. You could catch a snook out here, okay? The snook do swim out here. <sighs> it drives me crazy.